KKKKKM live from the Media Center. I'm Jordan Drillick. And I'm Layla Hillis with a look at today's news. But first, let's all stand and join Joshua Stevens for the Pledge of Allegiance. Joshua? Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now back to our anchors. Awesome job, Joshua. Now let's join Jalissa Ramirez in the WPKN Weather Studio for a check on the weather. Jalissa? Good morning, Pioneers. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with an 8% chance of rain. The humidity will be 88% with the wind blowing out of the south at 7 miles per hour. The high today will be 75 degrees with a low of 54. Have a great day. Now back to Rankers. Thank you, Julissa, for that interesting weather update. For lunch today, our spectacular runway chefs are preparing for us each of big days, cheesy pizza, or a power pack lunch with blue raspberry apple applesauce and fresh fruit. Don't forget to drink some milk. Now let's join Braylon Reeve for our school expectations. Braylon? Good morning, Pioneers. Please join me in saying our school expectations. I will be responsible, I will be respectful, I will be safe, and I will be a leader. Thank you, now back to our anchors. Thank you for telling us the school expectations, Braylon. Now here's Ms. Hull with today's Pioneer Minutes. Good morning, Ms. Hull. campus on this Friday morning and it felt a little bit warm around according to the weather report it's actually going to be a really nice day so boys and girls please enjoy the sunshine if you did wear jackets please remember put those in your cubby or your book bag so you don't leave them out and about on campus for the month of February our character trait for the resiliency is responsible decision making which is demonstrating honesty integrity and fairness learning how to make a reasoned judgment after analyzing information data and facts so we want to make sure that we are responsible and making good decisions. I know I was talking to Mr. Farrow yesterday, and some of us are not exactly following those Romeo expectations and making some decisions that are having consequences. So boys and girls, please think about those decisions that you're making and be responsible, whether it's on your classwork, your homework, with your parents at home, or in school with your friends, your classmates, and your peers, making sure that you are following those expectations and you are making good decisions because we do have consequences if we're breaking those pioneer expectations. So just remember, look through those teachers, review those with your students because we've had an uptick in discipline referrals, specifically with kids getting very handsy and putting hands on each other, whether they're playing around and it's horseplay, which we shouldn't do, or just becoming physical for whatever reason. So boys and girls, please remember to have good decision-making skills and be responsible. Already. Yes, I have not gone to our... Oh, okay. Do you want to start? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Ben Carson. Full name is Benjamin Solomon Carson Sr., born September 18, 1951 in Detroit, Michigan, U.S. American politician and neurosurgeon who performed the first successful separation of conjoined twins who were attached at the back of the head. Oh, Occipital... Craniophagus twins. <laughs> Good job. I assume that's right. I'm going to say it is. The operation, which took place in 1987, lasted some 22 hours, involved a 70-member surgical team. Carson also refined a technique known as hemispherectomy. No. Ooh, that's a, <laughs> that's one a big one, too. Nice. In which one half of the brain is removed to prevent seizures in persons with severe epilepsy. He later became active in politics and served as U.S. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. So, again, each morning we are reading a historical person from for Black History mm -hmm. Month and something that they have contributed to society. So, this morning it was Ben Carson. And learning all this stuff. Yes, and it's these great. Big words it is great. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, for attendance, we're going to pull three names. Remember, we want you here each and every day. We want 94 to 95%. Attendance, if possible, we are going to start in Miss Tripp's class. We have Michaela Navarez Basabi. And I know I probably said that wrong, so we'll practice Today it. Today was lots of big grade words. Graduation. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> forgot about that. In fourth grade, Mr. Martin's class, Anthony Bonilla. And in third grade, Miss Sprouse, Delilah. Colburn. So boys Delilah. and girls, I did see Delilah mm -hmm. as well. So boys and girls, if you are here, please make sure you get with your teacher to come to Mr. McLean, get that token for that book vending machine and get the book that you will get to keep. So Absolutely. hopefully you are you are yes, here. So. so it is Friday. I think that's it. We don't have any crazy schedule testing, no, anything like no, that other we than we made peaceful. it to Friday. So boys and girls, let's make it a great day here at Romeo where we are winning, winning every day. day. One team, one goal. Now back to our anchors. 
Thank you, Miss Homeless and Old. Well, that's all for today, Pioneers. Thanks for watching WPKN this morning. Be sure to join us again Monday for the, the news, news that, that kids can count on to start, start their day. day. I'm Jordan Jellick. And I'm Layla Hillis. Until next time, see, see you later. later. Bye, Bye for now. now. It's, it's Friday! Friday!